It's here. I can feel it. Yes. I feel it as well. Probably just a pile of rocks. I'm sure it's here. Just keep an eye out. There it is. This is all that's left of the altar. We few who travel far, call to me and I will come, without mercy, without fear. Cry havoc in the moonlight. Let the fire of vengeance burn. The cause is clear. A very old invocation. Perfectly translated. Strange that there wasn't an altar like this at Mithal's temple. The temple was a place of justice. But this... is different. This was where the elves called to her. Spoke to her. And one day she disappeared, and they had no one to speak to. Do you need to do this alone? Don't go too far. I may need your help if there's trouble. You will perform this mysterious summoning alone, Inquisitor? Very bold. Just couldn't stay away, could you? I am eager to see what manner of creature responds to your call. Who would not be? The voices say it will be Mithal. And what is Mithal, beyond something thousands of years dead and gone? They say you can remain. How very hospitable of them. You know who I am. The last to drink from your well of sorrows. Come to me, Mithar. Whatever you are, whoever remains, I invoke your name and your power. Mother. Mother? Now, isn't this a surprise? So this is Mithal. She is a deceiving witch! Oh, be a good lad and restrain her. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. Of course you know. You drank from the well, did you not? Then you are Mithal? Mithal was an elven god. You, you're... Human? <laughs> Not a word many have used for me in a very long time. I do not understand. How can you be Mithal? Once I was but a woman, 
crying out in the lonely darkness for justice. And she came to me, a wisp of an ancient being, and she granted me all I wanted and more. I have carried Mithal through the ages ever since, seeking the justice denied to her. Then, you carry Mithal inside you. She is a part of me, no more separate than your heart from your chest. What do the voices tell you? They say you speak the truth. But what was Mithal? A legend given name and called a god? Or something more? Truth is not the end, but a beginning. A herald indeed, shouting to the heavens, Harbinger of a new age. As for me, I have had many names, but you may call me Flemeth. I know the name Flemeth. It belongs to an ancient Ferelden legend. It says long ago you left your husband for a lover. Your husband then tricked you, killed your lover and imprisoned you. Then a spirit came to offer you vengeance. Mithal. That's what you spoke of. One day someone will summarize the terrible events of your life so quickly. But yes, I was that woman. That is how my tale began. Flemeth appears in other legends. Helping heroes for reasons of her own. I nudge history when it's required. Other times, a shove is needed. <laughs> then you're Mithal and Morrigan's mother. As well as a witch who prolongs her unnatural life by possessing the bodies of her daughters. That's what you believe, is it? I found your grimoire, and I am no fool, old woman. Oh, if only that were so. My daughter ran from me long ago. I've let her be, until now, it seems. If Mithal is within you, why not reveal yourself? And to whom should I reveal myself? To the elves, to everyone. <laughs> I knew the hearts of men even before Mithal came to me. It is why she came to me. They do not want the truth. And I, I am but a shadow lingering in the sun. Why did Mithal come to you? For a reckoning that will shake the very heavens. And you follow her whims. Do you even know what she truly is? You seek to preserve the powers that were, but to what end? It is because I taught you, girl. Because things happened that were never meant to happen. She was betrayed as I was betrayed, as the world was betrayed. Mythal clawed and crawled her way through the ages to me, and I will see her avenged! Alas, so long as the music plays, we dance. We summoned you because we need your help. Against the Magister who grasps beyond his reach. Yes, I know. The voices did not lie, Inquisitor. I can help you.
The altar's guardian will come. Master the dragon, and it will be yours to command against Corypheus. Fail and die. Wait! I wish to see who drank from the Well of Sorrows. It has been a very long time. Now I have, and he is free to go. But what of us? A soul is not forced upon the unwilling, Morrigan. You were never in danger from me. All things considered, Inquisitor, I now am rather pleased you drank from the well. That was all rather odd. Yes, well, Mother has always had that effect on people. Now, I believe, you have a guardian of the altar to master.
Why did it fly off? Will it come back? It will come when I summon it. Once. That's enough to fight Corypheus, however. I have my dragon. So when we find him, we'll fight between two dragons. <laughs> Mad plan. Love it. Is there anything you need? That's enough for now. Another time, then. Everything is in order. place. Corypheus now waits on you to approach the Temple of Sacred Ashes. Still, do be careful, please. Was the summoning successful, Inquisitor? Let's just say I have what we need. 
Then all that remains is to find Corythius before he comes to us. We've been looking for his base since all this began, with no success. His dragon must come and go from somewhere. Oh, what about the Deep Roads? We could send word to Orzammar, a higher envoys too. Did that? But why? Either I close the breach again, or it swallows the world. But that's madness. Wouldn't it kill him as well? Inquisitor, we have no forces to send with you. We must wait for them to return from the Arbor Wilds. Corypheus expects, I suppose. Tell me, where is your maker now? Call him. Call down his wrath upon me. You cannot, for he does not exist. I am Corypheus. I shall deliver you from this lie in which you linger. Bow before your new god and be spared. Never! As you wish. I knew you. It ends here, Corypheus. And so did she. Successful in foiling my plans, but let us not forget what you are a thief in the wrong place at the wrong time an interloper a gnat We shall prove here once and for all which of us is worthy of God I didn't come here to become a god, Corypheus.
dragon. How clever of you. It will avail you nothing. You will fall as a warning to those who oppose my debate. As you wish. for this outrage. you from the very heavens. will be ground under the Imperium steel. I shall sear you from the very heavens. Feel my wrath.
you dare to touch an avatar of divinity? as a trophy when this is done, Rathas. A pike oh, shall hold me. your head. Gates of the Grand Cathedral, Seeker. We shall see about that. I will not stand for this. If you desire death, you shall have it.
Let it end here! Let the skies boil! Let the world be rent asunder! allow you this victory. You and all the heathen barbarians shall burn. The breach is getting bigger! It will endanger the world. We must stop this. have walked the halls of the Golden City, crossed the ages. Dumat, ancient ones, I beseech you. If you exist, if you ever truly existed, aid me now. Solus, the orb. Kuru.
Corypheus is dead. That's the important thing. Yet so much has been lost. There's more, isn't there? It was not supposed to happen this way. No matter what comes, I want you to know you shall always have my respect. Inquisitor, are you alive? Then it's over. How lovely. And the sky is healed, healthy, whole. There's just that left to remember. Looks that way. What do we do now? We go back to Skyhold. A moment, my lord. My agents have found no trace of Solus. He has simply vanished. If he does not wish to be found, there's likely nothing we can do. But I will keep looking. It's odd that he would just leave without a word. You said he was upset about the orb. 
That can't be the only reason. Now that Corypheus has been defeated, we have a moment to stop and celebrate. Afterwards, you will be busy. Every noble in southern Thedas is clamoring to meet you. The fighting's over. Why do they want to meet me now? You're joking, yes? They wish to bask in the glory of your victory, hoping that some of it will rub off on them. Everyone knows Empress Selene owes you her life and her throne. A thousand problems remain, and your opinion will be sought on each one, whether you wish to give it or not. <laughs> oh, now they're lining up to meet me. Such is the way of things. Previously, you were an upstart, a mage of all things, leading rebels and heretics. Until Corypheus revealed himself, they could not see the single hand behind the chaos. Once he did, they knew. A magister and a darkspawn in one creature, the ultimate evil. Now you are the only power left standing. Enjoy the evening while you can, Inquisitor. Imagining it, or do we have a moment to breathe? <laughs> I can scarcely believe it. The Conclave, Haven, it seems so long ago. You should hear the stories they're telling in the barracks. The pride in their voices. Some of the soldiers have requested leave to return home, but many would follow us still. You are proof that the Inquisition has made a difference, and that we will continue to do so. Glad to hear it. There's still work to be done. For once, I'm willing to leave it till tomorrow. I should let you mingle. I'm sure everyone desires your attention. Enjoy the party, Inquisitor. If you need my help, you know where to find me. I'll be ready. I've been starting to think about putting all this into a book. I'm thinking, this shit is weird. The Inquisitor Trevelyan story. What do you think? It's a working title. I'm glad you've gone back to writing. Certain until it's in print. I still haven't decided if I should do this book, as if anyone will believe this story if I tell it. Not to mention, I'll 
Have my hands full with reconstruction and relief efforts in the free marches as soon as I get back. The Inquisition could still use you here. That's generous of you, but it's past time that I went back and took care of things in Kirkwall. I'm not leaving for a while yet, though. We'll have to get in at least one game of Wicked Grace before I go. Curly needs to win back some of his dignity. So, demons, dragons, giant asshole vint on a big magic rock. You don't let it get dull, boss. Good stuff. Corypheus left us a big mess to clean up. Right. Probably not as many giant explosions in the sky from here on out, though. It's weird. I joined the Inquisition under orders from the Ben Hasrath and stayed because Corypheus was an asshole. Now that it's done, I've got no orders. For the first time in my life, I can go wherever I want. You know I'll find you the best fights. I know, I know. Anyway, the only place I'm going tonight is back for more drinks. To us being alive, and the bad guys not. Ah, Anan. got a party, yeah? A bit of fun for saving the world. It's the least Andraste's Herald deserves for making things normal again. Except for, you know, everything ever again. I mean, is this for us or for her? Or, you know, him? Because I was there and I still don't know what's real. Couldn't it be his will and our effort? Perhaps miracles need a little help. Well, what's the friggin' point of them then? Ugh, you sound like a sister. I guess you'd know by this point. Seems like you did it right, mostly. Still some things to do yet, right? Because I'm in no hurry to go back to... Val Rio. that's where I was. You mind if people still stay around? Or whatever? This is home, if you'll have it. <laughs> Shut it, you. I cry, I'm punching everyone. All right, enough of that. Is this a party or what? Raise them for winning. Big freaking heroes, Inquisitor. All of us. So many people died. More still are hurting. They need help. It seems wrong to celebrate. But I want to. The part of me that's me needs to after all this. The servants are drinking. Some of them are drinking while lying down. There's plenty to drink right here. I don't think it was about the drink. I think it was something else. Hmm. What happens next? Where do we go? The Inquisition is just getting started. Yes. Because of you. Thank you for letting me stay. 
I was passing through the hall this morning and a serving girl saw me and squealed. Actually squealed, dropped her laundry and everything, such a mess. She was completely breathless. You were at the battle with the evil one, weren't you? I didn't even get a chance to answer. She hugged me. Hugged me. This is your influence. <laughs> Admitted you're having a ball. <laughs> I don't trust camaraderie, all these people smiling, buying me drinks. It's unnatural. Mind you, I can't say I hate the notion of being the good to Vinter. I suppose you can't all be evil bastards. The blacksmith said that, and he spat when we first met. I hope my father hears. He will shit his small clothes from shock, I swear. You're an example of how noble Tevinter could be. For southerners, maybe. Back home, they'll be rolling their eyes behind their fans. Meanwhile, they'll conveniently forget the bastards who wanted Corypheus ruling us all. I've decided to stay with the Inquisition. For now. You will? Tevinter lacks the presence of my best and only friend. It'll keep. Never have hired new caterers so late. Leave it be, Josie. Everything's fine. It is not! I'm so sorry. Nothing's quite as it should be. Oh, do you like the drinks? I'm not sure about them. The drinks are fine. It's been a wonderful evening. I hope you're not just saying that. You're not, are you? Disaster. So my meeting is late, the invitation to our guests barely went out at all, and... and... <sighs> it was so wonderful to prepare for a small banquet instead of the end of the world. Do you know what everyone is talking about tonight, from commoners to kings? Us. Dedas is discussing the success of the Inquisition. You played no small part in our rise to power. <laughs> you had a role yourself, if I recall correctly. Truly, we will never forget those we lost. But for tonight, to victory. Enjoying the refreshments? Josephine sent all the way to the capital for the petit four. Oh, I love tiny cakes. And there's so many. Which should I try first? I would avoid the dark ones topped with gold dust. Deep mushroom and anise. An awful combination. But it's quite popular in Val Royale. I believe they call it the exquisite misery. Ole. Why did we save her again? To you, Inquisitor. For all you've done. I can't believe it's over. It seemed an impossible task. Defy the Chantry, build the Inquisition from nothing, defeat a creature that would be a god. And yet here we are, celebrating. <laughs> Had your doubts about me, did you? About you? Never. I intend to rebuild the Seekers of Truth. ...to make us the order we were meant to be. That will take time. Meanwhile, I am free to remain with the Inquisition. I think back to how we first met. And here you stand. You are the Inquisitor. A symbol of hope and change to so many. And you are my friend. How did that happen, I wonder? I'm pleased it did. 
You are a great man, and I will always stand at your side. So much to do, my dear. I'll be returning to Valvoyu to organize the Loyalist Mages. The Empress requires my expertise during what is sure to be a difficult transition. But that will wait. Are you enjoying the celebration? Josephine was in a frenzy arranging it. I'm too preoccupied contemplating what comes next. It's always wise to plan ahead, my dear, but you mustn't worry yourself into an early grave. Go mingle. The night is still young. May I join you? I wanted to catch you. Uh, the celebrations appear to be winding down with the sunrise. I've never witnessed such a lovely sight. Nor I. Sometimes your words are so sweet, they ache. That's love. That's you. It's been good to have this celebration, free of what the future holds. Whatever awaits us, my lord, I know only one thing. I would never have you face it alone. It is said that Corypheus woke after his long slumber and found the world gone awry. He fought to bring back those days of magic and shadow, to raise himself as a god and set things right. Now, we are left with a scar in the sky to remind us of what almost was. It tells us that a great victory against chaos was won, but left the world forever changed. Consider the mighty empire of Orle, where Empress Selene remains on her golden throne. The civil war is ended, Gaspar is defeated, but it is said Briala yet plots her return from exile. The Empress now faces a war in the shadows. Elven daggers rule the night, and spies follow her every move. Fortunately for Selene, her gratitude towards the Inquisition has remained strong. Some claim she clings too tightly to the Alliance. Others know it is all that stands between her and defeat. The Grey Wardens of the South slowly rebuild in the months following the events at Adamant. They declare it time for the Order to emerge from the Shadows, to join the rest of humanity in fighting their ancient foes. Rumors abound that they severed ties with their leaders at Weishaupt, and that a bitter war now rages between them. What becomes of Hawk is unknown, save that all news out of Weishaupt soon ends. Does the sudden silence indicate a battle within, or something far worse? One month after the defeat of Corypheus, 
the Chantry names Leliana as successor to the Sunburst throne. Given the name Divine Victoria, she first declares an end to the Circle of Magi. The mages will now govern themselves. She opens the priesthood to other races, declares support for the Inquisition, and rededicates the Chantry to the principle of charity. Divine Victoria is controversial from the start. Several new sects arise, resisting her reforms and declaring her rule a threat to the faith. Her response is as swift as it is deadly. Unity is maintained, but blood runs through the halls of the Grand Cathedral. The Inquisition's mages, the former rebels led by Grand Enchanter Fiona, are left with a choice. When Leliana disbands the circles, they leave the Inquisition and reform the College of Enchanters as a new order. The College, they say, will allow mages of the South to gather in peace and seek new solutions to age-old problems. For the moment, it appears to be working. Mages are enjoying unprecedented acceptance throughout Thedas. And what of the Inquisition itself? Its military might has grown, now rivaling that of kingdoms. Fear of the Inquisition's army has become the true source of its power. I leave Skyhold now, knowing that power will continue to grow. The Inquisitor is a symbol to many, a leader of the changing world order. To others, he has become a target. They linger in the shadows, waiting for their day to come. When it does, the Inquisition shall stand ready. I knew you would come. You should not have given your orb to Corypheus, Red Wolf. I was too weak to unlock it after my slumber. The failure was mine. I should pay the price. But the people... They need me. I am so sorry. I am sorry as well, old friend.
nervous having the woman who commanded our spies on the Sunburst throne. Like if anybody recites the chant wrong, she'll have them shift. I'm probably overreacting. But yeah, if you want to go out and find some trouble, I'm up for it. Still here? You need me for something? Liliane is already turning the Chantry on its ear, and she hasn't yet been crowned divine. It's quite interesting to watch. I offered to remain as right hand, but she has other ideas. I wish her well, regardless. The Chantry needed someone like her. been going on just relaxing taking a breath you need to sometimes to keep sane I have to go Mages are looking to start a whole separate college of enchanters. Be interesting to see if they can avoid pissing everyone off this time. What's more important is there are still rifts out there spawning demons. I'm ready to kick some ass whenever you are. Running late, lad. Sorry, won't happen again. No, no, that's fine. Keep him waiting. Oh, no. No, I mustn't. Thank you. Inquisitor. What's the current mood? Obsequious. What's the word out there? The servants of the Empress sent us a crystal glass full of rose petals cradling a single golden pear. I mean, I assume. As you were, Inquisitor. Inquisitor. and relaxed. I mean, we're in with Leliana, so we have no problems. It's the ones who piss her off who need to squirm. I'm staying, though. You find fun often enough. I'm not sure where else I'd be. Inquisitor. Dark. 
If you require any assistance. Inquisitor, 